What's up, guys? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on Trump signing the stimulus bill. Are you excited about the stimulus bill? Do you wish he didn't sign it? Today is December 28th, and I'm back. And this is your one minute news. Trump signed the COVID relief bill last night. However, a vote for the 2K in direct payments is still happening. I'm not going to sign. Okay, I signed the COVID relief bill, so sue me. Chicago continues its killing habits as 23 people were shot and 8 killed over the Christmas weekend. That's so crazy. Fauci says the darkest days may be ahead. And there is no other word in the English dictionary more than I love may. Because it may also be the brightest days ever. A man charged with playing very similar audio in Nashville to the recent bombing, a.k.a. a copycat thought of an attack. He was charged with two felony accounts. Do not do this if you're thinking about doing it. It's not funny. The NBA's new Orleans, Orleans Pelicans coach, Stan Van Gundy stated, whites are the only ones who are racist. <laughs> and he is also confirming he might be the dumbest person on the planet. Adding, I'm a poster boy for white privilege. Congrats on saying you're rich and that you've gotten everything you've wanted in life, no matter how hard or not hard you've tried. Some of us are the opposite. TSA screened 1,284,599 people at checkpoints yesterday. But shut down those businesses because we're protecting you. Australia warns against the New Year's Eve kiss. So don't go, if there's somebody you don't want to kiss in Australia, shout out to Australia listeners. I got a couple. Just say, you know what? The government said no. <laughs> so I can't kiss you because I don't want to. Uh, Luhan, Lujan, I, this is a hard one. Lujan Ahahala, a Saudi woman activist <clears throat> who pushed for women's rights to drive, is jailed for five years. Yeah, Americans, the evil one in the world. Xinjiang covered the COVID outbreak in China and has been jailed for four years. Again, America is such a terrible place. Japan shuts borders to foreign nationals because of the new COVID strain. Is that called racist? No, because they're not white. <laughs> Today in history, in 1895, the first commercial screening takes place in Paris and Paris. The firm, the f firm, the film was made by Louis and Auguste. You might have heard this word before, Lumiere. Great cameras. Two French brothers who developed a camera projector called a cinematograph. And that is your one minute news. Thank you guys so much for listening to one minute news. That's a little longer than the one minute news. I apologize. This is my first day getting back to the grind, getting into it. I just scheduled a new interview with somebody who rhymes with the word gopher. Topher Town. Check him out. He's a good dude. Dude, I like the way he... I like his rapping style. He's got a good rapping style. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. And uh, I hope you enjoyed your holiday break. And whoever you're celebrating, you know, maybe you're like Kamala Harris and you're celebrating Kwanzaa ever since you were a child, you know, before, you know, it even got popular in the 80s. So she was probably like 25 when it came when she calls herself a child. I don't know what's going on with that. I just know she got she was people were mad about it. And I just think it's typical pandering and it's all they're all full of crap. And I hope you join me on that. And uh, I just laugh at them. I don't actually care. <laughs> just like, yeah, okay. I'm sure you I'm sure you celebrated it. I, I gotcha. It's just like if I became president, I celebrated Kranza, I celebrated <laughs> Hanukkah, I celebrated everything. I'm about the people. Yeah, hey, man. My accent for Trump is going down, and I need to stop this podcast. I apologize for continuing to talk. Have a fantastic day, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow morning for another edition, of, or tomorrow, whenever you're listening to this, for another edition of The One Minute. Today was 
a little bit longer, news.